Yarn, claim that. I got my goal! Woo! Run up and down the Eiffel Tower, bitches! And run, let's go, I got you! This is it, this is my moment. <laughs> Why is there volume? There will be. There will be. Did you hook up to the Wi-Fi? Woohoo! Go achieve. High five. All right, so far we stopped running at three miles. What, the keys are stuck? And Ryan Mack is somehow still running at four miles and we think he tied his phone to his dog. He did. 100% <laughs> factual information. Let's go get our acai bowls. Harder than a diamond. My determination is so strong. I will not stop. For nobody, for no one. Woo! I get five, I might die, but you know I tried. Survive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was a hard fought battle to the top. Me and Jordan ran three miles. <laughs> <laughs> we we could have rode ridden. Wait. Ran. ran. What am I talking about? Okay, we could have ran a lot further, but we were giving ourselves like two an easy goal, and you know, next year we'll, we're gonna like try to beat Mac at like six miles. <laughs> so Mac, we ran three miles, and then we were like, all right, you know, that's good enough. We put in our honest day. Three that's a five k. Yeah, five k. Ryan Mac proceeds to run five miles. <laughs> Do we have to run tomorrow? Ryan Mac. Okay, we didn't see it coming. I didn't even think he was gonna be awake. Kev from Wind and Waves, proceeded to run... Nine? No, like 11 or 13. <laughs> what? Like a lot. Like 11 miles at least. And then, I'm giving a shout out here because I got to find the list. And then we got JT Tinker with 16 miles, Matthew Fletcher with 17 miles, Ian Quinlan with 19 miles, Stefan Vercalone with 22 miles, Fabian... S. Shillman with 26 miles and our champion, Trevor Leahy with 28 miles. And I remember looking at the Wings for Life World Run app. There was 52 people left in the race out of over 100,000 people. And Trevor was still in. He was in the top 52 in the entire world. So Trevor won 28 miles. <laughs> Clap it up for Trevor in the comment section below. Our group managed to raise $1,432.02 out of our $1,000 goal. So we obliterated our goal. All that money's going to spinal cord injury research. And Trevor is walking away with a Ben Gravy soft top. Trevor, get in contact with me. Congratulations. You are the champion. You can leave a message in the comments. You can hit me up on Instagram at Ben Gravy with two Y's. You won. Congratulations, <laughs> Trevor. Super fun doing the Wings for Life world run. And uh, we'll see you next year for the dream. Got the call from Shacroft. I'm going to pick up some woodwork for my mom for Mother's Day tomorrow. So we're going to go check out Shacroft's work. Grom is on fire. All right, dude, let's see the goods. This is some of my inventory, but bigger bowls over there, a couple platters. That's one of my hand planes, and these are some smaller bowls, little guys, some cool grain. Some surf art, skate art, wow. fingerboards. This guy's a god, dude. A couple little spoons I carved. 
Snowmen. I made a bunch of these last winter. All right, I'm definitely buying the box. Yeah, those are two little boxes. See, my mom's a box. Oh fanatic. God, she'll be freaking out over the box. How much is this box? Check out. That one is forty. All right, forty. Yeah. And then we're gonna get a bowl too. These are like little ornaments. Nice, dude. This wow. has a ledge. How much is the big bowl? That big one? I yeah. just made that the other day. He's thinking of it. Usually, usually like when I... He's feeling the weight. No, nah, usually when I <laughs> when I put it like on Etsy, I'll yeah. take into account shipping. And so my math is all off. Because like I didn't calculate the shipping. This is the man in his true habitat. I definitely really put it like 50 without shipping. 50 man. bucks? Without shipping. Yeah. Sold, bro. Yeah. All right, I'll do that bowl and, and the box. I like that. Wow. Are you getting anything, Javer? I think that. Well, what? The, what are you gonna? Who are you giving the bowl to? My mom. Oh, this I, is her Mother's Day present. Oh, I want to give my mom the bowl then. Yeah. What? What do you do with this bowl? We could put like little candies in it. You can eat from all these. They're all food safe. You can get them wet. Is from Kinzo's. His <laughs> his uh his wood pile like. This I, is from Kinzo's house. Yeah. And he didn't want to buy it. No, like I. Dude, he I got your chopping, spoon, he bro. Wood, his firewood. I took it. And it was a nice piece of wood. <laughs> I'm like, mind if I make a spoon? I made it. Shaq Croft, how do they find your work, dude? This is what they want to know. Yeah, so I'm on Etsy at SC Woodworking and then Instagram, SC Woodworking. I'm also on eBay. Don't have that much up there. I, I started TikTok, but that's going to take some time to get going. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook as well and Pinterest. And yeah. There's You're doing it all. Everything. He's doing it. No uh, discount for the promo, dude? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yo, thank you. Thanks. I'll stick, dude. Shaq. Across the guy, dude. Dude, look how nice. Look, this spoon's actually a sick spoon. Look, it's like crooked. That's for you. Carol. All right, thank you, Shackcroft. What a ledge. Oh, good for him. I love a young kid. I, I love I'm just an ahead. entrepreneur. I want to go down here and look at these houses. <laughs> what if she doesn't care? You no, I know. <laughs> Hello. Happy Hi. Mother's Day. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's this? Man, the big present. Your Mother's wow, Day present. Wow, this is awesome. Handcrafted. Wait, where'd you get this bowl? Shackcroft. What's Shackcroft? My friend. He's the kid that serves. Made it? He's like a 19-year-old kid. He made it? Gavis? Handmade, all that. Did she hide it? This is so nice. I was actually thinking about buying a wooden bowl for salads because they're so good. May 2021, you just made it. Yeah. Oh, Ben made a spoon. Yeah, Ben made a spoon. Look at this. And a bowl. I don't, know, dude. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know about your Ben's spoon, bowl's pretty dude. Good. His spoon didn't ha doesn't Look at have Ben's, as much flavor this as this spoon. one. Though. That's my fucking spoon. What? And I guess you made this scooper. I Who's mean, this better? Uh. I like mine. That's what you want to do with it. I, I mean, this one looks like it was made by Neanderthal. I don't know. What you my bowl's pretty, pretty good. My bowl's, bowl's really, really good. good. I like the way. Really cool. Let's just way, compare shapes. It might not be exactly just as smooth. Like that, you can eat out of it. <laughs> this one you can eat out of. <laughs> My bowl, dude. Did you take Gabby outside? No. You did? No. Gabby, you let her out and didn't take her outside? She yeah, why did you let her out? Like I didn't let her out. Get her. What's good? Gabby, come on. What the f happened? Sure, you pee in here once tonight. Come on, go, go. Go, go! Alright, just leaving my parents' house. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. All the moms! All the moms. Happy Mother's Day. I'm so hungry right now, so like, I don't know if I hope it is. Wait, where are we going? Ocean City? We're going to look at the waves, brother. Where? This is not, this is not where I assumed this we were going. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here where we're sitting in the living room and it's the night before the swell. So everyone is just stoking out of their minds because they know tomorrow morning it's going to be absolutely firing. So here we are. And as you guessed it, surfcaptain.com, ladies and gentlemen, 5 a.m. That wind is shifting west, southwest. We've got 6.1 feet at 8 seconds coming in from the south and we are gonna get tubed we have a 7 a.m high tide 3.5 feet and now we are gonna check out the new mapping feature oh let's just watch this swell just pile drive its way in look at new jersey oh as they say nuke jersey 
8 a.m. tomorrow morning. That is waves in the 5 to 8 foot range all along the New Jersey coast. And we are on it for the dream tomorrow morning. Don't forget, we are going to get two tomorrow. I hope Mackie's ready to get up at 4.45 a.m. Woo! Wow. It's good to you. Morning. Yarn. Yarn. <laughs> that's pretty. That's epic. I just filmed a set, but like, it's almost every set there's a makeable drainer. Like, I'm thinking within the hour, like, this just starts going. The Harley, dude. This bar, like, I've never seen it this kind of hollow, square, and racy, but and it's wedging, too. Like, an hour more of tide? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> All right, I don't even know how to put this into like English, the English language. Like we found the zone. Like there's nothing right now in the way of getting absolutely shackified, shackcroft, shack attacked. Mackie doesn't even. He actually what? right now. You think Mackie's bummed right now? You think Mackie's bummed? He's not bummed. His brain can't even process <laughs> this swell. That's how new tastic it is. I'm frothing. He's frothing. <laughs> what are you worried about in life? I'm a worried about life? Yeah. Growing uh, old alone. What did you say? Growing old alone. I was about to say dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so morbid. <laughs> well, this this session right now is about living. Because my knee's feeling pretty decent. And I might get Shaq. Wish me luck. Dream is on. We're stoked. We're nuking it. And we love you guys. Dub Nation for the win. Woo! See you guys. made the most epic call this morning was a struggle came back to the zone it's pretty much firing we got Donnie down here 
This guy just drove 25 hours from South Dakota and he just caught his first wave in 13 years. He got a ripper. He, on one of my boards, I mean, it, it doesn't get any better. The guy's stoked, look at him. He's up. He's going right now. Donnie! You can't see him. It's all good though. You can see him though. Donnie! <laughs> so we're doing it. It's getting a little smaller. Tide's dropping. It's about to be flat, but epic morning. And we got to interview Donnie when he comes in because he was telling me he's probably the most stoked person alive today. <laughs> pretty, sure. pretty epic. For sure.
here with Donnie. This guy just drove here from South Dakota 25 hours to come to the event tonight, but he just got in the water for the first time in 13 years. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to tell the story, so we're going to let Donnie. The Don. What happened today, Donnie? Well, I caught, I caught a wave. I, I would call it I caught a wave. I don't know. I barely went down the line. It's like learning how to surf all over again, but I just had a blast. One wave made the whole trip. Uh, yeah. How stoked are you? So are speechless. You? I'm stoked, man. I don't even know what to say. I'm so yep. glad to be here. I got stuck in a wetsuit. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. First time in Jersey? First time east of the Mississippi River. Wow. So Dude, that's yeah. pretty heavy. He's honestly one of the gnarliest guys east of the Mississippi. <laughs> Dude, so how's your vibe? How's your stoke level? It's it's way up there. Are you tripping or not? Nah? This is like um this dream feels real, I guess is what I can say. Yeah. Someone, what is going on here? Donnie coming here from South Dakota is almost like Rick Kane visiting the North Shore. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just wait till you guys get to South Dakota. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah, I know, but I was telling Zane about it, man. Like I said, it'll be as foreign to you as this is to me. So it's uh, what a cool place you guys got here, though. Those waves are fun. How's the surf scene in South Dakota? Uh, non existent, pretty much, <laughs> except for in my head. I mean, if you got snow and no fins. How'd you get that board out there? Uh, I paid the 160 shipping. Yeah. Wow. I actually oh, got heavy. ripped off by a Chinese website. I thought I ordered like a nine foot JOB for the, the free shipping. And JOB? What's going on here? Why'd you? <laughs> The price was right, man. Free shipping. No wonder I got ripped off. Claims are heavy. Donnie made it from South Dakota. We're signing the vlog off. Um, we are going to the wave pool tonight. It's wavy with gravy surf night, but that's going to be a whole other vlog. So if you guys are enjoying it, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Congratulate Donnie. First wave in 13 years. Congratulations, Donnie. And the dream is real. The Don. See you next vlog, boys. Woo.